I don't flinch. Oh my golly! What's up guys, welcome back to Chits and Chats. Today, do we have a treat for you. Proudly presents you... Boba <laughs> Mahjong. And this game, guys, is currently on Kickstarter. It's actually fully funded, uh, so you're currently missing out right now unless you click on that Kickstarter link right in our description. Hit over there, guys, and check it out for yourselves, okay? So the edition we're playing right now is the review edition, guys, so obviously there's going to be some upgrades or whatever he wants to do with it uh, depending on, you know, funding goals, so go help the man out, okay? Now, guys, Boba Mahjong is awesome because we love Boba Tea. Okay, that is one thing that we do love in life, is a good cup of boba. What is your what is your boba choice? Oh, I have several. I like Thai tea, I like taro, I like uh, matcha. Any of them. Any Anything on the menu. Because you've yeah, tried most the, of the, yeah. You've literally tried all of them. I don't like the really sugary ones, and I don't like the fruit flavored ones. Like honeydew yeah. and I like mango, the good old rose hips me. and lychee tea. Yes. That is my tea of choice, and I love it, and I usually have her order it for me because I, even though I'm very proud of my, my choices in life, that one, not so much. But uh, guys, and also, like, you, you need to get you a girl that isn't afraid of a sample cup. Afraid of, she will hold a tower of sample cups and yeah. have no shame at all. She will try literally everything and then get me some, too. Yeah, it's, it's pretty. True. It's pretty I awesome. I want to know what I want. Like, if I'm going to spend the money to order, I want to know that I'm going to like it <laughs> in order to drink a whole cup of it, right? Okay, so guys, forgive me if I'm saying mahjong wrong because I don't exactly know how to say that. I'm saying it as I feel like I'm really putting it in there. I'm, I'm going, I'm committing to it. Mahjong sounds good to me. All right. Um, and we'd also like to thank the designer Tate Wu. Sorry if I'm getting that wrong as well for providing us with a review copy, yes. guys. Uh, we're very excited, and he got it to us super quick. I mean, it was it was it, it was like overnight expressed. It was amazing yeah. how quickly it got here. So thank you once again. And uh, this is non paper motion. We're just excited to play a game about boba tea, okay? Because there's not enough of Absolutely. those games out there, Correct. honestly. What exactly is boba mahjong? Boba Mahjong is a game for two players that is based on the style of the game that everybody knows and nobody knows how to play, and that is Rummy. Yeah, I don't... Nobody knows how to play Rummy. <laughs> My family loves card games. We love games in general, and I don't think I've ever played Rummy. I I don't... I, I have no... Every, somebody always... If somebody sees a pack... If there's a group of people at a table and they see a pack of cards, somebody's like, you know what? Let's Does anybody know how to play Rummy? Let's play... Everybody suggests Rummy, and nobody knows how to play ever. And it's, it's pretty frustrating. Somebody just, I could look it up, but I'm not going to. Um, so, yes, it is based on Rummy, and uh, we're very excited because I haven't, don't know anything about Rummy. Yes, and but, I don't know anything about this game. This is the first time I've seen it. First yep. time he's explaining it to you, just like he would be explaining it to me mm -hmm. for the first time. For the so. first time. So hopefully I do a good job. And, uh, yeah, so I literally said Boba, and she was in. Yeah. That's all it takes. And look how cute they are. They're incredibly they're incredibly cute. Maybe I'm, I'm going to put... I know, I can literally feel that, like, you know, feel the chew. It's such yeah. a nice sensate. That's weird. So anyway, how do you play this game, guys, is the question that is on everybody's mind, and we're going to tell you. So it's very simple, actually. All right. So what you're going to do is on your turn, you have one of two options. You're either going to draw two cards from this deck right here, or you're going to take one card from the top of the mixing pile. After you've drawn those cards, you're going to start creating sets with your hand, okay? When you create a set... You're either going to use three cards from your hand or you're going to use two cards from your hand and one from a mixing deck. All right. Okay. Now, if you can't create a set, you can just go ahead and redraw just like you do those sample cups that you get from the boba shop. Absolutely. Okay. And <laughs> she will have no shortage of that. COVID was a sad time because it stopped giving out samples. Did they really? Yeah. Everywhere. Is that why you stopped going? Yes. 
<laughs> so what exactly is a set? There's three different kinds of sets you can have in this game. The first one is a three card straight of any color. Okay, so that's a four, five, six, five, six, seven, zero, one, two. Nine, Use your seven, imagination. Seven. It's except none of those numbers in this game. But yes, you're on the right track. And I'm really proud of you for that. You cannot wrap around though, like eight, one, two. Okay. Okay. Now that can that's just a three card straight. Okay, that's a set. Perfect. Uh, another set is a three of a kind. You, I think anybody knows what that is. You know, just three cards that are the same number. But the color doesn't matter. Color just doesn't matter. Number. It only matters at the end of the game when you score, okay? Color matters at the end of the game. Yes, color okay. matters at the end of the game. The last type of set you can do is three toppings of any type, okay? Toppings have their own special abilities, which is really cool, and uh, we'll get into that in just a bit, but zeros are wild cards, okay? So okay. if you have a zero, you can use it in any form or fashion to create what you need to create, okay? So you could have a 077, seven, that could be a set of sevens. You understand? Cool, Super gotcha. easy. You could have zero, zero, zero if you wanted to and create whatever you want, oh, wow. okay? So that's going to be a set. Now, you cannot use a zero in a set of three toppings. Okay. Okay. Now, this part right here is the the part that could be a little confusing, apparently, but hopefully isn't this time around. Okay. Okay. So what you can do is once you've created your set, you're going to then... So let's say I have a set of three cards, okay? I'm going to take one of those cards, I'm going to put it right next to my player aid, and I'm going to keep it right there. Okay. okay. Now, I'm going to take those other two cards and discard them. Okay. okay. Why now, does that matter? Discarding cards, why does that matter? No, why does why does the one card... The one card is going to be used to score at the end. All okay. of the cards that you have, you're going to choose six at the end, and you're going to score them okay. based on this stuff right here, okay? So now, when you discard the cards, you can if, if there's an empty pile deck here, you're going to then fill that first, okay? okay? Now, if it's a zero, you're just going to toss it out the game, it's out, okay. okay? So that's how that works. Now, at the end of your turn, you're going to discard down to seven cards uh, with the same rules. You can put them on any stack. Any stack, okay. except unless it's empty first, okay? You okay. put that one on first, and if it's zero, you put it out here, okay? okay? And then we're going to score based on these these, um, these things, these criteria at the end of the game, okay? The first one is freshness. So if you have a two of a kind or two toppings of a kind, three victory points. Awesome. And you can see the rest right there, right? Okay. Now, if you have the, 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 the cool part about this is if you have four numbers, four of a kind that are all different colors, you get 10 victory points. All right. Okay. That's the one, that's what you're aiming for on that category of freshness. Okay. Smoothness, which makes sense is, is uh, based on your, your straights. Uh, yes, your straights. It's a really good word choice. Yeah. Based on your straights. It's you can see it that. Right there. Mm -hmm. It does. Yeah. What do you know? Yeah. I can't, it's hard for me. Look, I, I usually can't find things like when I'm looking for them because like, I mean like I'll be in the fridge and I'll be looking for mayo or something like I will literally move the mayo out of the way in order to like get deeper into the fridge and the wife will come just and I'll be like babe and she already knows the problem she already knows that there's something I can't find that's obviously right there can I tell them the car story car story sure I so we were looking for these remind me certain die cast metal <laughs> die cast metal cars our two-year-old loves them so we had to get them a lot of them for Christmas and they have them at this craft store that where we live and he went in and took like 15 to 20 minutes looking around the store for these cars and he was like babe they don't have them he came back out and I was like okay let me look I went in and within like three minutes probably I found the whole stand of them I had called him I was like hey, these are the ones that they have don't go gentle on any of the details all right okay go but ahead. seriously that's that is what he's talking about when he can <laughs> find it and was horrible. I, I, you know, you know, the thing is, though, I asked an employee. He even asked an employee and I went in and I was like, I'll find him, babe. <laughs> I, 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 look, I was like, you know what? I asked the employee. I almost called the manager. Nobody knew these. She said they did not have any more. And it wasn't even a location that we normally go to. It was just like a random craft store location that we usually don't go to. And I just, <laughs> I have a, I have, I'm a homing pigeon. I don't, I don't understand. Yeah, you are. It's, it's, a, it's, it's an incredible gift. gift. But, um, I would have preferred not to hold that one, but uh, it's fine. It's out there now. Okay. And then we have complexity. So any two toppings is going to be three victory points. Okay? okay. And that makes sense. So then you have two types of presentations you can do. Presentation A is the same color. Okay. As you can see, based on the amount of the same color you have, you get those okay. points. Presentation B are any are different colors. Okay. And based on the amount of different colors you have, you get those points. And those are those, all those points are based on those cards that you have by your player. That one card that you took out of your set. Okay. Okay. And do they have to be in order? What does that mean? <laughs> like, like, okay, so you put down like a one and then you have to put down a two and then you have to put down a three. They have to be in order. No, no, no. You just get to pick their cards at the end of the game. Okay. And, uh, yeah. 
Let us start. Only six? Yep, only six. So it's interesting because you have to like you have to focus on what you're creating in your sets, and then you're you have to understand that like you're taking one card out of that set to create these new end round in game scoring sets. Okay. The player who most recently had a boba drink or lost the previous boba mahjong is the start player. Now I absolutely chug my my boba. So that technically means that you probably had That's one most true. recently. Okay, so I go first. Yeah. Sounds like a semi-automatic assault rifle when I drink that boba tea. And it does. <laughs> it's, it's so good, man. It's really hard because I'm seeing colors instead of numbers. Don't worry about colors. Don't see colors right I now. I understand. But you actually do need to see colors because they could use you could be using yes. those at the end of the game. Yes. So I can okay. only have seven in my. So you took one from the top. That was your that was your part of the turn. Now you can do no. At the end of your turn, you can discard down to seven. Okay. That's how that works. Uh, so what you're gonna do now is create a set. It's up to three sets. I have to create a set. No, you don't have to. If you don't, you can just draw more cards. Either from two from here or one from here. If you can create a set, you should. I keep going until I can you, you create, can create a set? No, no, no. You, this is your turn. So like now you create up to three sets. Or I can't create you, can, right now. you can't create a set. Okay? Mm -hmm. So you, you can draw again. You can either draw from one of these piles or take two from the supply. Perfect. Now it is my turn. And I will... Oh my golly. I'm going to take one from here. And I'm going to create a set right here. Seven, seven, seven. Okay? And I will, okay, I'm going to take, okay, so, sorry, that's one set, and I'm also going to create another set. What? Right there. <laughs> that's ridiculous. That is, uh, hold on, actually, they can't see that. It's right there, guys. That was completely unplanned, unscripted, and I, it seems like I cheated. It does, a little bit. I didn't. Okay. So, I'm going to take one card from here, and I'm going to place that here to score, and I'm going to take this one here, and I'm then going to... Put a mixing pile. I'll do one, two, three. Don't really want you to get all those consecutives. And I'm going to do that. So I have my two scoring cards so far. And the first one to ten is going to end the game. So you're up. Discarded down to seven. I feel good about what I've done here today. Can you say the same? I will at the end of the game. All right. One set. Not a bad set. So you drew a card. Okay, so you drew a card. Yep. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Okay. Keep that right there. Oh, sorry. So I am kind of at a point right now where I can't do anything. So I'll draw two you... cards from here. And then I can't create a set, so I'm going to draw two more cards. Oh my golly. Oh. I'm going to draw this one. So that was my turn. I cannot create a set right now. <clears throat> but I got a like steady I lead. Had. And I feel good. Tarot tea is one of my absolute favorites. Oh, yeah. Tarot, guys, it, it, it's one of those things where, like, just try it. Okay, don't, just take my word for it and try it. Okay, I... You won't be disappointed. And if you are, just don't tell me. Okay, nice. So you have a set. Or sorry, you created a set. Okay. I would have liked to have been a part of that a little bit. I'm sorry. That's okay. So I will take one from here. And... Oh, I, I absolutely would. So I'm going to then create a set right here. A five, six, seven. And I wish you got like points for this or something, but you don't. So five, six, seven, I'm gonna take this seven right here and I'm going to add that to my scoring collection and I will discard one here and one here. I gotta keep in mind what I have. You're playing a little too fast over there, girl. I'm sorry. A little slide of hand. Is there, <laughs> there's no need to cheat. <laughs> There's no need to cheat in Boba Mahjong, guys. <laughs> Keep it clean. All right. Let me do... Oh, I just gave... Oh, Ooh. buddy. Okay, hold on. Let me do something else. I'm going to draw... Oh, I'm going to draw one card from there. That was my turn. 
Taking the big draw, huh? Mm-hmm. Here, put those up so everybody can oh, see sorry. them. We could move this up a little bit, honestly. So I've got red bean, I've got egg pudding. Let's move all this up. So red bean says, take two cards from the top of one mixing pile to hand, then discard one card. And then the egg pudding says, shuffle one mixing pile into supply, then draw two cards. Have you ever read through something and like you didn't actually like I'm feel like you read the words, <laughs> like you read any of the words? I think that just happened. Toppings. So egg pudding. Wow. You went egg pudding. Okay. So what do you get to do? Shuffle one mixing pile into a... Okay. <laughs> Shuffle one mixing <laughs> pile into supply I won't and learn draw two things. cards. That's fine. Okay. Well. I had already said it. I'm going to draw... Oh, man. Okay. I'm going to draw this. Ooh. Ooh. Buddy, okay, so here's what we're gonna do, guys. You're about to see. I'm probably getting a little. I'm probably being a little. A green bean. A little too dramatic about this, but yeah, I get stoked about bit. things, the little things in life. Uh, so this is my this is my set that I'm creating now. I'm going to actually draw. I'm gonna use this one as my scoring card, and I'm gonna discard these two, right there, and take two cards from the top of one mixing pile. That's not what I thought it said. Take two cards <laughs> from the top of one mixing pile to hand. Then discard one card. I thought it said from two different mixing piles. Is what I, re I, I read what I wanted to yeah. hear. So I'm going to take. Do that. Okay. Do I'm going to take that. that and then I have to discard. Yeah. Discard okay. one. There we go. Yep. Okay. 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 So I got to I got to watch those twos. That's a nice set. It's not really what I wanted, honestly. Sounds weird. Um, it's probably the only time for me to be okay to look at you and say, it's a nice set. Oh, yeah. <laughs> did I actually say that? He did. Okay. Was it necessary? <laughs> He's trying to liven up the video. <laughs> I'm just trying to liven it up. Crap. All right. Go, baby. Okay, so let me do what I'm going to do here. Do what you got to do. So I'm going to do this. And uh, I have something good here. Do it. So I'm going to play these these cards right here. Okay. Six, seven, and eight. Oh, look now, at that straight. Now, that is a nice straight. Mm. And I'm going to take this. <gasps> oh, put that right here. I don't want you goodness. to see what I'm doing over here. But there's no way for me to hide it. Oh, my goodness. I want to put those back there. Oh, you could almost strat. Never mind. Hmm? Nothing. <sighs> hmm. So how long can I take? Like, I hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can't take two cards from the top of decks for, of these mixing I piles. I can't make. I can't make sets. Oh, so you just your turn was two two draws. Your yeah, turn was you drew one make, and you can't you couldn't can't make, make a set, set so you drew another so I'm one. Drawing another one. After you draw the second time, you can't make a set. Okay. Okay. Deal. So yeah. I'm done. Yeah, that like your turn. Yeah. My turn is over. I think you understand. Okay, got it. I didn't know that. Okay, so I'm gonna draw two cards here. Gracious. Did you did you say that because you saw exactly yeah, what so my cards were? <laughs> okay. Anyway. You're always sipping out my boba anyway. No, I'm not. I don't even like your boba. You know what's gross is like sometimes she'll like sip the boba and some of the bubbles will fall back down into like the bottom. Of my own cup? Huh? Of my own cup? No, of me. Of mine. If you take a sip of mine, you let them like all like fall back down into like if the straw. If I didn't let them all fall back down, I would just continuously be sucking <laughs> yeah. the boba. That's like you're supposed to drink boba. Then you would be all out. I would have to that continuously is true. suck it until it was all gone. So you're, you're saying, you're saying I should thank you for the backwashed boba? I don't. Like... It's drizzling Spit down the straw. in there. <laughs> Not on I purpose. I cut it off with my tongue. And then. Yeah, that's actually, that's etiquette. That's boba etiquette, guys. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. You learn something new every single day. Except for the days you don't. Continue on. No, I, I drew and I can't create a set. Did you draw twice? Hmm. Oh, what do you know? Is that how you play this game? 
Okay, so I'm gonna draw this. Oh my god, you definitely can make a set now. Yeah, it's over. Oh my god, I didn't, now guys, Boba usually nice, but this, I didn't know Boba could be bad. So look at this, topping, 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 creating a beautiful set, and I'm actually going to use coffee jelly. You coffee have to take jelly. a scoring card back into your hand. That is disgusting. Cutthroat. I didn't, I didn't look at these little bobits, these little bobits, and think it was going to be cutthroat. Okay. Ooh, this one's new. How can you not create a set right now? There's I'm absolutely no way. I'm not gonna give you. I'm likewise gonna. Oh give my you golly, jelly. bro! And uh, one of the scores is back to their hand. Is that what you did when you took I yours? I did. Okay, so you're only creating one set. Yes. Okay. So I will take this, this Ooh, one, this one like right here. One. I don't really like that one too much. Okay. Oh my golly. And you know what? Thank you for that, actually. You're so welcome. <laughs> so I'll draw two from the supply. Okay, you do that. And I'm going to draw... Now this is interesting. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to try this. So I'm going to create... I'm going to do a three, four, five with a wild zero. Okay. okay. And now I'm going to put the five up here. All right. All right. Now, these two are going to go here and the zero goes here. Okay. Okay. You're up. I can do no more. I can do no more. It's pretty cool to be able to just switch into an English accent whenever I want Absolutely. to. Absolutely. Whenever I want to. Whenever I want to. Ooh. That's my set. Got a three of a kind. Not bad. Well, goalie. Are you having fun? <laughs> I am. Jeez. Guys, rate that English accent on a scale from one to... To not even English. What is the uh, <laughs> one to Nottingham? Nottingham? Yeah. Is, is Nottingham like... To me, that's as British as you get. All right. <laughs> and I don't... I really don't know if that's even accurate. Okay. So I drew. Uh-huh. And I'm also going to draw. Do it. Does it ever scare you when I do that? No. Okay. I don't flinch. Go! <laughs> oh my golly! Straight up Stonewall, dude. Freaking Stonewall Jackson. Yeah. I've always wanted to use that guy as a reference to something, and I finally got the chance, and I took it. No regrets. So I have to make a set if I can? Do you have to? No. Why would you not want to? Because I want a different number. I'm saving a card. Oh, yeah, yeah. You don't have to make a set. Okay, but do I draw again if I, can, if I don't? I, the rules don't specifically say that you have to make a set. So do I continue drawing or Yeah, you can you end? can you can continue to draw if you don't want to make a set. You can't make a set if you draw again. Okay, this is what I'm doing. Okay, so you you've gone, right? No, you can't make a you oh, drew okay. twice, right? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. No worries. Okay. I see now. Thank goodness. Okay, here we go. Oh my golly, bro. Dude, I oh, okay, I have eight cards now, which is fine. Now I'm going to just pop off for a second if that's cool with everybody. So Oh. I got cocky too quick. Oh my golly, bro. Wait. Yes, so I'm going to go like this, ready? Watch this. Boom. That's going to be a 4. That's going to be a 5. That's going to be a 6. And now I'm going to actually take this guy and put him here. Mm -hmm. 6 and the 0 and the 4 are going back in their stacks. Two, Wait. Oops, sorry. sorry. You're good. good. Are you done? Why did you tell me to uh, wait? I thought I could do more things. And I cannot. Are you quite finished? I am. Two, three, four. I'm going to take the nice. um, four. Okay. Two, three, four. 
two and three are going. You have a strategy for the point cards over there? Um, a little bit. <laughs> That's exactly what it looks like. It looks like you have a little bit, a little bit going on over there. Yeah. Don't make me do it though, please. I'm going to take this guy right here, and I'm going to create a set right there. You guys see that, hopefully? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I will take that and put it there. And I will discard these right there. Oh, I see what you're doing there. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. It's not too late for you to try to take the broken strategy. <laughs> That's that's how she'll stare at a boba menu for like 10, 10 to 15 minutes after she's tried every flavor. <laughs> that's exactly the same look. Hey, what's this? Oh my golly, oh, thank, you. Mm -hmm. thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're so very welcome. I'll take this one. It's a backward straight. Three, two, one. Get it. I no, I, I get it. I just was hoping that you knew that you could turn them, could swap them if you yes, wanted. Yes, I okay. could, but I decided not to. Fair enough. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, I think Can I said that every turn. Uh, I thought you did, and then you you happened to not. Oh, I'm sorry. So what I'll do? I kind of want to draw because this game is actually going to be over up. soon. Yeah, that's a cool one. Oh, is it? Is that a wild? Oh, yeah, the zeros. <laughs> Chill out. Chill out. You're up. Okay. Wait. I'm not making a set, so I'm going to draw again. Okay. Um, this supply is almost out. That's when the game ends? So the game ends. I am also going to draw two while well, he's looking that up. Is met at the end of a turn. That when, when one of the two things is met, conditions is met at the end of a turn, the opponent player takes another turn, then the game ends. Okay. Player has 10 or more scorecards next to their player aid, and a supply deck is depleted. So we're about there. As you can see, that thing is paper thin. Is this your first draw? That's my second one. Oh, thank God. Okay. This is getting, this is coming down to it, boys and girls. I need to pull out some clutch, clutch things right now. Ugh. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually go four five six and i'm going to use my four right there and i will discard this five and the zero and then i feel like i could have done something better there okay go ahead so you could end it and then i get one more turn or you can draw from the mixing piles and we, we keep going one I have nine cards. Wow, it's about to end. This game is a, this game is a race. Uh, it's basically a race. You know what I mean? I think that's what it's meant to be. Um, I mean, not really, actually. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep. <laughs> I was just gonna keep talking to myself <laughs> until it's my turn. Not really. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's all about the in-game scoring, honestly. So. Oh, I need a. Glad we figured that out. Five, four, three. Five, four, three. Nice. It's really good. Wow. Seems as though you kind of decided to start to copy paste a little bit. No, I didn't. Okay. I guess you can just say <laughs> you can just say that in life and it makes it not true. Um, so I could draw a card. Yes, you could. But I don't know if that's gonna help me. Okay. It's very interesting. I didn't get a lot of different colors out there really. So if there's only one card left. I think you actually shuffle those back in, but I'm just gonna go what? ahead. <laughs> you shuffle in all the wild cards. You no. clearly shuffle in all the wild cards. I mean, that would make the most sense. I would be so. You said stacked. you discard them from the game. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna draw a one. Do it. And I will create a set of ones. In oh, fact, okay. and I will take this one and put it here okay. and discard these two. All right. All right, all right. It's interesting. I don't know how this is going to score. I mean, we, we know exactly how it's going to score realistically, but let me move this down. But, like, we don't know exactly 
if this I don't I have no idea if this is a winning deck right it looks like one if I've ever seen it but I can't for sure say that this is a winning deck right but the game is is uh wait one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I'm done I'm out of the game ten this is your last turn as... yep ten cards so it is your last turn officially so do I just keep drawing then so what did you draw I drew one Okay, so drew you drew this. you drew that one. So it that I, I don't I don't know exactly what happens there. Um, I was hoping that that wouldn't happen, but it has happened. So I, I'm guessing you only just okay. draw those. So you can't create another set. Nope. That is a incredibly sad ending. No, it's not. But um, we only choose six anyway. We only choose six. You're right. So you're, you're I have absolutely my right. winning six that now, I Now see, know. this is almost strategy too. Like, am I actually supposed to go through and be like, okay, what gives me the best? Yeah, that's so what you I've have been to, you doing have to sit in my there. head this entire time. Have you really? Yeah. Wow. Absolutely. So I'm I'm going to choose. Wait. Am I gonna do the top this thing? is so tough, man. This is actually like the this is probably the hardest part of the game. Oh my golly. So I either get thirteen. <gasps> this get... is so tough. So I would be completely out of that one if I did not pick the sevens. That would be six victory points gone. If I didn't keep the sevens, I'd get a longer straight. That'd be ten victory points versus... Okay. I, I don't want to do this amount, amount of math right now. You know, it might be more interesting if we just choose our cards and then just hope and whoever wins, wins. Like, who made the better choice? I don't think that's how you play this game. I think it's it, you're supposed to choose them incredibly calculated. But I'm willing to just toss up. Just roll dice. Let me think. <laughs> I think you've already <laughs> thought it through. Enough. Okay. I, I think that I think that I have something here. Okay, so this is what she has. Now let's let's do so let's move all this out of the way. This is all gone. Um and we're gonna do our scoring, okay? So this is mine, my deck right here. The first thing we're gonna do is freshness, okay? Uh same number, zero to nine. So I have zero freshness. Zero freshness. I'm immediately me. regretting my choice. Uh that's not great, but it's okay. Then we're gonna do smoothness. So you have zero freshness? Zero freshness. So smoothness. Four points for me. I've you have four. four. So straight. I have one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna get seven points for that. Okay. Okay, seven points for that. Now complexity. I have three. Three. Three victory. So we're at seven to seven. Seven to seven. Okay, so now color. I have one, two, three, four, five, which is gonna give me nine victory points. So that's sixteen. Okay. Okay. And different colors. I have two. I got seven points for that. You got seven? Because right, I got all five different colors. So how many points did you get total? Fourteen. You got fourteen? Mm-hmm. And I got sixteen. Did you do this? This one, I, I didn't get three different colors. Oh, you didn't get three. No. Nah. But I got, yeah, because I got the five. The five. See, now what I sure. wish I would have done is I wish I would have <laughs> saved two of the same toppings because at one point I did have two of the same toppings so I would have had three extra so I mm -hmm. would have had 17 so I got 16 you got 14 yeah correcto I love Boba Mahjong guys this game is obviously a keeper yes 100% <laughs> so let's get into a little bit of the review of this game and okay. what we actually thought about it how we felt and let's dive right in all right and I'll let you start. All right. What I always say. Can you guess? Don't do it. Just anything. It's beautiful. Like that. <laughs> I think it's cute. I mean, the little bobas on there, they look so squishy and so fun. And and I love the, the wild card graphics. I just... And it's pastel colors. Easter's my favorite. It just... It just tickles me in all the right places. You know what I mean? <laughs> Good on you, Tate Wu. <laughs> Good on you. Uh, but hey, lay off a bit. Um, yeah, it, it is really fun. It, <laughs> Are you really going to keep that? Yeah, I'm going to keep that. <laughs> so, guys, you can't, you can't, you just, you, it's, it's true. You cannot look at this card and not feel better. That's right. So Absolutely. it's just. I kind of feel sad, though, with the one because he's just so lonely. But look how happy he is being alone. I know, but he's like, give me a hug. That's what it looks like. <laughs> he needs you. Pick me up. He absolutely needs you. That is a sad little guy. But um, he's incredibly cute. And they're so cute. And honestly, you you can't like you, you can't go wrong with that style of art. It's just it's just it's a lot of fun. It's super yeah. cute, super adorable. Family and people are, friendly. 
Sorry, family friendly. Yeah, yeah, absolutely family All ages. friendly. And it, it does it does remind you of that boba feel. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And that's that's what we want out of a boba game. Absolutely. Is to be reminded of boba the entire time. Okay. Unless you can't you don't have it with you, in which case it just makes you angry. <laughs> I'm not either. I had a great, great time. So guys, things that we really liked about this game, obviously the art is a lot of fun. What impresses me, guys, is when you could fit an entire night or just day or afternoon or whatever time of day it is for you uh, of entertainment in a small size box that is this size right here. <laughs> small size. That is this size. This is like the definition of uh, like a super easy, elegant game, though, because you have something small like this and you create a ton of complexity. Like this game is highly strategic for me. Yeah. I mean, again, it was it was. It was not hard to create sets, but using those sets in a valuable way, in a very interesting way with these in-game scoring criteria right here, are it was uh, was a great twist on the game. I loved that this was a part of the game because this this in-game scoring made it super, super strategic. Honestly, part the hardest part of the game was like seeing your your set of cards and being like, Oh, yeah. how do I optimize this now? Absolutely. You know what I mean? So like when you can when you can fit all of that strategy in a small package like that. I mean, how many times can we play this in a row? A lot. Give over me a number. And over and over. Give me a number. I mean, it depends how much time we have. Probably 10, 15. What are you thinking? 10, 15? <laughs> 10 or 15 times, guys. You in can play row? this. We can play this. And I would not get bored. No. Honestly, it would get more competitive because we just keep Absolutely. adding up our scores and be like, bro, let's just keep going. Let's knock another round out. This is a game where when you're tired at night and you don't feel like doing anything with anybody, you pull this out and it's fun. And you have a great time. It's a great date game, too. Yep. Because there's, yeah, the competition, but also the interaction. Guys, another thing is the play interaction in this game is awesome. Uh, there was a little bit of, uh, I was surprised. I was taken aback a little bit because there, there was a cutthroat card in there where I made her take back one of her point scorers, which is a big deal in this game. And she did it immediately back to me. So uh, I didn't expect that. And I, I, was, I was glad that was in there. It added a new layer of strategy that I didn't expect. And I also love the fact that there's indirect player inter- like blocking interaction with blocking where you know if I see her taking a specific card like a like I see her stacking up on sevens, I know that she's getting close to a set. So now I either want to take that card or cover that card so that she can't get it. And there's a lot of opportunity to cover cards with the ones that you discard. So that that amount of player interaction that indirect blocking is is a lot of fun. I I love how it keeps you on the edge of your seat the entire time. I didn't even look at yours. I wasn't even trying to well that makes one of us right <laughs> well you were just getting used to the game i was trying to go for the win and it paid off it did pay off by two points yes congratulations thank you so that is uh i i do i think that's great again another tiny little thing little package with a lot of player interaction yeah and you can take this thing anywhere you take it anywhere put dude. it in your purse put it in your back pocket you know, take it to a boba cafe if you want to and really yeah, seriously. make the theme so- I, I love sore. games that are portable. I'm, I'm like really into that now. It's like when you when you can have a game. I love these card games. I'm really getting into card games more because they're they're always they're usually portable because like they're so, right. you know, you have a deck of cards and they're just different mechanics. Mm-hmm. And this game is apparently rummy style. And I love that different mechanical design that's in this little box. So we we used to live farther away from our family. And so he has this board game backpack. And he would, <laughs> he would load up the board games in his backpack and we would take them over to his family's house. Well, now we can just take little card games that we have and everyone has a good time. Because well, again, we could play this, we could play this over and over. I mean, just yep. many times over. And we're Good gonna family just, game. Great family game. Great family game. That? Yep. Yeah. So holidays. And the, in the, in, in the, like the learning curve on this is not, I don't think it would be that high. I, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think it'd be that high. So like. You could teach this to somebody and it's going to be fun for them and it's going to be a competition between you. And I think it's good for all ages. Yeah, absolutely. Above the age of probably six, maybe? I would say six. Let me see. Ages 10 plus. Okay. Our kids are... They're a little advanced. <laughs> our kids are advanced. Okay. That's what everybody says about their kids. They're I feel like that us. there's that seasoned... You know, the more you play it, the more mature you are in yep. the game. So you have that seasoned feel where you don't even need to look at the scoring anymore. You just know. You just know what go. you're gonna do. Yeah, you're already you're already calculating this in game scoring. You're already calculating that thing. And so, I'm ready to get to that place. Boba. I want to get to that place too. Absolutely. So we're we're in for a long haul. I mean, we're this is definitely. An, I mean, why why would you ever get rid of a game like this? It's it's really fun. So guys. Ooh. A, 
sorry, wanted to say this is a great um, like present, like a filler. Oh yeah, yeah, it's like a, a get a good gift idea. Yeah, for, that's so true. For a couple, it's awesome. Yeah, so I'm an absolute like grill master. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I, 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 I like the art and everything about it. So anyway, guys, uh, constructive criticism, if there is any. I think the only constructive criticism for me is that if you're, I, I think the end when I was trying, like, I love that this in round scoring is very thematic. I love that you're trying to, you're trying to get these very specific things, but I felt it was very mathematical. Like I had to sit there and just really, you know, I was already a little bit burnt, not really burnt, but a little bit from the game. And then I had to sit here and do all this math. And then you kind of know who's going to win. You know what I mean? I want people to have to be like, oh, freshness I have. And you do. But you're sitting there, all, you've already done it, basically. By the time you've chosen your six cards, you've probably already chosen, you know, you already know how you're going to score it. Yeah, but the other person doesn't. The other person doesn't, and yeah, and you know what, that's that's true. And the the more you play it, I mean, the less that this card's even needed. That's and true. And then it's so, more of like a, hey, this is what I got. That, that's true. I Maybe it's just because we're just very, you know, mm-hmm. um, we're, we're, we just haven't, we have no experience, we're very inexperienced with this game. Right. So... Anyway, I don't, I don't. What what more could you say about a negative? There's know. no negatives. I don't this game's just fun. It's lighthearted. It's a good time, and I recommend it. So once again, guys, we just want to thank the designer for sending us a copy to review. And this is again non-paid, just fun. Okay, it would have been nice if threw in a little extra for some boba tea, Tate. But uh, we'll. <laughs> but we, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm obviously kidding, okay? But seriously, thank you so much. And we had a blast playing this game. And we'll continue to play it many times, maybe right after this. Who knows? And um, so the link for the Kickstarter is once again in the description. And guys, this people are funding this game, okay? You are it's literally... It's already completely funded. It's complete, Yeah, it's already completely funded, but people Day are one. joining. You don't want to miss out on this beautiful little game that could also be an amazing gift. So guys, if you enjoyed the video and enjoyed the energy, please like and subscribe. We will continue to bring this type of vibe to the industry, guys. And we're so incredibly thankful for all your love and support that we've already gotten uh, and comments and everything else. We really appreciate comments. We'll have conversation with you. Um, So please feel free to say whatever you want to say in the comments. Worst case scenario, I'll just delete it if it's toxic. But if it's not, I love you too. Okay, so have a great rest of your whatever time of day it is, and we'll see you next time. Take it easy.